So on November 6th, Obama was re-elected President of the United States. But that's not the only thing that happened on November 6th. Um, November 6th saw a flat-out rejection of the Tea Party and everything the Tea Party represents. Um, what the Republican Party is being seen as increasingly is a party that's being controlled by extremists, being controlled by Tea Party extremists, people who are unwilling to compromise and who have nonsensical and ridiculous views about a host of issues. Um, they think they're going to stop gay marriage. They think they're going to stop women's access to abortion. They think they're going to stop uh, illegal immigration. They think they're going to stop a whole bunch of things, which flatly they are not. Okay, The demographics are not in their favor. So the Republicans had all the racists, all the homophobes, all the misogynists, all the anti-science religious nut jobs on their side and their ranks are not going to be growing any time in the near future okay so this was probably their best chance at winning over the presidency but it didn't happen and it didn't happen because they were rejected they just they're being seen as a extremist faction that's controlling the Republican Party um, the re moderate Republicans were beaten in primaries. Richard Luger, for example, was beaten up by a Tea Party candidate. Um, and Mitt Romney, in order to win the Republican nomination, had to out crazy the right wing crazies. Uh, Herman Cain, Michelle Bachman, Newt Gingrich, um, Rick Santorum, these people are crazy. They're absolutely crazy, but they were all number one in front of Romney at one point or another. <laughs> Romney always came in second or third. The Republican Party establishment did not vote for Romney. That was not their first choice. But interestingly enough, after everything Romney said during the primaries, the only time he made any headway in the national popular polls was when he veered towards the center during the first debate. And, and some will claim, I will claim that I think Obama was caught off guard. He didn't expect Romney to swing that hard towards the center during the first debate. But <laughs> it's, it's, I think it caught him off guard. I think that's why he, he didn't do as well as, as he probably should have. But that's where Romney made his most headway, when he veered towards the center. People say, well, maybe Romney isn't an extremist, okay? But the other extremists in the party uh, lost, lost big time. The, you know, Todd Akin and uh, Richard Mordaunt, these idiots who have nonsensical views about women's health issues were soundly trounced. I mean, they're gone. <laughs> they're just gone forever. Um, so, you know, the, the Republican Party has got some soul searching to do because their demographics, the racists, the homophobes, the misogynists, and the religious nut jobs, that demographic is shrinking, okay? It's not coming back. It's going to shrink and keep on shrinking. People are becoming more and more enlightened, and they're realizing that it's not right to deny people rights because you have this fear, okay? So the party of fear, the Republicans, their ranks are going to be shrinking, okay? It's inevitable. Uh, you know, grow a set, please, all right? I would like to see the Republicans come back and be a respectable opposition party. I think you get the best results and the best ideas when you have a legitimate marketplace of ideas. But the Republicans do not let any facts penetrate their bubble. And that's what their problem is. They're ideologues on things that are not based on fact. They're based on beliefs. They're based on some fantasy authority figure, okay? And as such, they do not provide any means of reaches, reaching consensus, even on facts, okay? I think it's impossible to reach compromise on policy unless you can reach consensus on facts. And, and so far, we are not able to do that. And the ones who are clearly to blame are the Republicans. You know, the, the right-wing noise machine, uh, Fox News, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, 
all these people who spout these ridiculous nonsense bullshit lies are not doing a service to the Republican Party. What they are doing is they are painting the Republican Party as a party that is clearly out of touch with reality, who has no grasp of facts whatsoever. Okay? And I would love to see the Republican Party come back. I would love to see a party of Dwight Eisenhower, who is one of the best presidents we ever had, who started the national highway system. Okay? There's a, who warned of the military industrial complex, but that's not what's happening nowadays, okay? The Republicans are being perceived, and rightly so, as the party of extremists, of people who don't care about facts or evidence or science. They have their opinions, and they're going to stick with them. They're not going to compromise at all, all right? And that's not what most Americans want, okay? That's what the Tea Party wants. And the Tea Party is this sliver of crazies who have taken over the Republican Party, all right? And in, until you find some way, until you find some way to shed yourself of these people, you're, you're going to be in big trouble. I don't know how you're going to do it. You know, I, I, whether or not they think the elections, how they interpret the elections, who knows? Will reality penetrate their bubble? Maybe not. Maybe the Republicans are going to be consigned to live in the desert for a very long time to come. But you got to get rid of these people who refuse to acknowledge fact. You know, that's even just recently, the, the, there was a study done by an independent agency looking at the effect of um, deficits on uh, and job growth with reducing the tax rates of the wealthiest Americans. And they found there was absolutely zero correlation. So what did the Republicans, what did Mitch McConnell do? They squelched it. They, they made sure it never saw the light of day. They don't want facts to reach the public. They, they're not interested in facts. And, and they're going to suffer as a consequence. They're going to suffer as a consequence because people can see right through that. All right? So, you know, good luck, Republicans. All right? I would love to see your party come back. But while it's being controlled by the insane, uh, you can consign yourself to the wilderness. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.